Hi, I'm CB Tesla, and today I'm going to show you the showcase of the Doctor Who mod. So, since there is so much stuff in this, I'm not going to show any crafting recipes, but I'm going to put a link in the description to the website that shows all the crafting and other such descriptions. So let's get started. First we'll start off with the new blocks added. So the new blocks that they have added are the TARDIS lamps, the TARDIS walls, the TARDIS monitors, the TARDIS roundels, TARDIS floor, the classic TARDIS wall panel, the classic TARDIS wall panel, these two linked together, the TARDIS monitor and the TARDIS doors interiors. So that's practically all that they have added for the new box. Now let's move on to the new clothing. The new clothing that they've added is the Aces jacket, the bow tie, the 10th Doctor glasses, the 4th Doctor's scarf, the gas mask, the fez, the 7th Doctor's hat, the Dalek and the 3D glasses. So let's have a look at what these look like on me. First, we will put on the 3D glasses. As you can see, they look epic. Now, let's put on the Dalek disguise. As you can see, it turns me on into what looks like a Dalek. Pretty cool. And now, the Seventh Doctor's hat. I'm not a fan of Doctor Who, but since so many people have been requesting this mod, I'm going to review it anyway. The Fez. The Gas Mask. The Fourth Doctor's Scarf. The Tenth Doctor's Glasses. As you can see. Bow tie. Can't miss the bow tie. And last but not least, the Aces jacket. This looks awesome. I think I'm going to leave the Aces jacket on for now. So let's keep moving on with the showcase. The new tools that they have added are the Sonic Screwdriver, Nitro 9, Sonic Blaster, Time Vortex Manipulator. Sonic screwdriver and another sonic screwdriver. So, as I believe, these two sonic screwdrivers uh, power up redstone. And this sonic screwdriver basically powers up redstone too. The sonic blaster breaks blocks. And the time vortex manipulator sends you to a different dimension. A bit of lag. As you can see, a new dimension. And last but not least, the Nitro 9. This stuff you should use away from anything that you don't want to be broken, because when you hit it, look at the damage it does. So as you can see, the new tools are pretty overpowered. So let's put all these away. And now let's look at the new heads that they've added. They've added the Peter Cushing, which is a movie doctor, the 11th doctor and the 12th doctor. So now, what you can do with these, just place them on the ground. And as you can see, they are like little statues. Same with the 11th doctor, and Peter Cushing. Pretty cool. Now, the new things that they've added. So they've added the TARDIS, the TARDIS and the TARDIS for the 9th and 10th Doctor. Then they've added Spawn Ironside and the Dalek statue. Then they've added um, Dalek sections. So these all bits of Daleks. And then they've got Spawn Bessie and we've got the TARDIS key and River's Diary. 
So, let me show off what River's Diary does. First, we better take off the jacket. So what River's Diary basically does is changes your skin into, say, one of the Doctor's skins. So that's the first Doctor, second Doctor, third Doctor, fourth Doctor, fifth Doctor, sixth Doctor, seventh Doctor, eighth Doctor, ninth Doctor, tenth Doctor, 11th Doctor and the 12th Doctor. And it sends you back into default. So, that's basically it for that. And now you can spawn in Bessie. Basically, Bessie is just a vehicle that you can ride. As you can see, just drive it around. Pretty cool. Now, let's get out and let me show you the statue, special weapons Dalek statue. As you can see, the Dalek mod has been put in with lots of time because look at the texturing and the modeling of this Dalek. Now you can also spawn an iron side Dalek, which is an actual Dalek that moves. And then we've got the TARDISes. So the 9th and 10th TARDIS. TARDIS and just another TARDIS. So let's go into them. The first TARDIS. As you can see it's downloading terrain and it spawns us into the actual TARDIS. Oh wow, they have done a lot of work on this. Look at that. As you can see, it's got the little monitor that we saw before. And basically, all these, they have just tried and remake them. Pretty good, as you can see. So let's go check out the other TARDISes. Let's get out. And it'll start flickering and fading out like a normal TARDIS would in the movie. Let's check out the other TARDIS. As you can see, they have done something pretty cool. Now, this is the other TARDIS. As you can see, they've got all different designs for them. Same monitor. Except they've got a little clock that's running this piston. So let's check out the last TARDIS. And now the last TARDIS. Let's get into it. And as you can see, this one has been modeled pretty good too. Like, look at it. It looks so good. I'm not sure if it's like the same. TARDIS from the actual TV show. I've never watched Doctor Who, so I'm not sure if this is very the very close they could get the replica to, but it's pretty close in my books, as you can see. So let's get out of this TARDIS. So as you can see, the TARDIS mod, the Doctor Who mod, or aka the Dalek mod. This mod has been put in so much time and texturing and modeling. I would recommend for you to check it out. If you enjoyed this vid, please like or comment. If you really enjoyed it and want to see more mod showcases, please subscribe. CB Tesla out.